uh, with us on our Healthy for Life University Hotline historian Thomas Woods, who's uh, here trying to help us navigate the Christian case for voting for Ron Paul. I want to go back and ask a follow-up, uh, Tom, if I could, on what you just said about Ron Paul in Iran. Okay. Is there ever a point in time where Iran clearly demonstrates they're enough of a threat to the American people and American interests that it requires military intervention? And would that include defending Israel? What would, would, what would the answer to that question be? I think there would be. Uh, it's, it's, I'm not saying it's absolutely inconceivable that there could ever be circumstances where you're on the verge of an attack or the, you, you, get, you can tell either from genuine intelligence or from the language that's being used, or the, what other types of evidence. I'm not saying that it's absolutely impossible that you'd ever be in a situation where you would say there's an imminent enough threat that you obviously have to take action immediately. I mean, that would be true of anybody just in a one-on-one -on -one scenario in an alley. If I see some guy take out a gun and aim it at me, well, I could rush him and tackle him, and, and no one would fault me for that. Mm -hmm. So I think that can, that's okay. Now, in terms of Israel... When, when they say, when, when we hear things like um, Iran is an existential threat to Israel, that we hear that said by people like Netanyahu and others in Israel, the, the interesting thing is, by and large, what they mean by that is not that they actually think that the Iranians are going to launch uh, nuclear missiles and then just all go down in flames and have every one of the Iranians completely blown off the face of the earth in, re in response, which is what would surely happen. But rather what is meant by is an existential threat is something more limited, which is that if Iran were to get a nuclear weapon, there, there's a concern that some Israelis, uh, Israeli Jews would move away from Israel, and others in Europe right now might not want to move to Israel. And, and given that Israel is a Jewish state, that's an existential threat. Her, her very nature would be threatened if people didn't want to come there because they're Jewish. But in terms of defending Israel, well, my view is that Israel is in an excellent position to defend herself, particularly given several hundred nuclear weapons. And if I'm here talking about Ron Paul, well, you probably remember, not because you're old, but just from reading in the newspaper, that in 1981, when Iraq had some type of nuclear program, it was Israel that, that went in and knocked out some of these nuclear installations, mm -hmm. and it was Ron Paul in Congress that voted not to condemn them for this, when everybody else was condemning them for this, because his view was, it's none of our business to condemn them for this. If, if this is what they believe their defense needs require, then it's not up to us to tie their hands to tell them to do it or not to do it. That's not the role of the U.S. government. That's the role of the Israeli government.